Have you ever looked up at the night sky and wondered? Where does it all end? Or even better? Does it end at all? And if the universe really does have an edge, what's beyond it? A cosmic brick wall? A giant turtle? Or just more space? Well hold on to your space helmets, because to understand that, we have to answer a deceptively simple question. What shape? Is the universe? Okay well, can a universe even have a shape? Let's start with this. When scientists talk about the shape of the universe, they don't mean its shape in space. Because space is part of the universe. The universe isn't in space, it is space itself. It may seem a bit hard to understand, but just think of it like this. Asking what shape is the universe is like a book character trying to guess the shape of the page they're printed on. They can move through the story, feel the twists of the plot, but they'll never see the edges of the page itself. Physicists usually consider three main possibilities when it comes to the universe's shape. First, hyperspherical, or closed universe. Like a sphere. But not an ordinary sphere, a four-dimensional one, if you go in any direction long enough, you'd end up right back where you started, like traveling around Earth, but with extra dimension. This would make any two parallel lines eventually meet, which mean the universe is finite. But unbounded. No edges, but not infinite. This idea goes all the way back to Albert Einstein, who originally imagined a closed, finite universe in his theory of general relativity. Second, a hyperbolic, or open universe. Like a four-dimensional saddle. Very weird, right? It curves outward. In this universe, parallel lines eventually diverge. The universe would be infinite and ever-expanding. Physicists like J. Richard Gott have explored models like this. An open universe would be infinite and keep expanding forever, with gravity never quite strong enough to slow it down. And finally, flat universe. Like a sheet of paper. Or a very lazy pizza. This one means the universe extends forever in all directions. And its geometry follows the familiar rules of Euclid. Vish means parallel lines will remain parallel forever. This is the one most supported by modern data. In particular, a Wilkinson Microwave Anisotropy Probe and Planck Satellite Missions, led by scientists like Charles Bennett and George F. Stathew, gave us precise measurements of the cosmic microwave background. So, which one are we in? One of the biggest clues is Cosmic Microwave Background or CBM for short, the oldest light in the universe. This light, from just 380,000 years after the Big Bang, is like a baby picture of the cosmos. And by looking at tiny temperature fluctuations in it, physicists can measure the geometry of space. So what did the data say? Flat, almost suspiciously flat, like too flat. But wait, what do physicists even mean by flat, in simply means that all measurable quantities, temperature for example, are uniformly distributed in the universe, or in simple terms wherever you look in the cosmos you'll always find the same thing. That's where the theory of cosmic inflation came in. Inflation baby. Proposed by physicist Alan Guth, inflation says that just after the Big Bang, the universe expanded faster than the speed of light, for a tiny fraction of a second. And this is a problem because for the universe to still be flat, 13.8 billion years after the Big Bang, the conditions at the beginning of time had to be weirdly precise. This is known in modern physics by the flatness problem. And during that moment of cosmic stretchiness, the universe smoothed out, and flattened like pizza dough being spun by an interdimensional Italian chef. That's why space looks so uniform and flat today, even though it started in a chaotic quantum frenzy. Problem solved, right? Well, what if we're wrong? Some physicists think the universe appears flat only in a local scale, but might actually be curved on a much larger scale. It's like ants walking across a beach ball. To them, it feels flat. But zoom out far enough. And curve becomes obvious. If the universe is closed, like a hypersphere, that could mean it's finite, which raises the possibility that, someday, gravity might slow it down, stop it and even reverse it, which leads to the famous theory the Big Crunch. Others argue that, we're in an infinite open universe, where space keeps stretching forever into nothingness. Okay but what does it all mean? What if the universe is flat and infinite, but has weird topology, like a donut? Yes. You heard me. A cosmic donut. If you want to be scientifically fancy, toroidal universe. In a donut-shaped universe, if you traveled far enough, you might eventually bump into yourself. Not metaphorically, literally. Like a cosmic game of snake. But hold on. There is more, 
What if the universe doesn't have a shape at all? In the 1980s, legendary physicist Stephen Hawking, along with James Hartle, proposed something called the No Boundary Proposal. It's wild. They suggested that space and time themselves are curved. And the universe might not have a beginning in the traditional sense, just like there's no edge on the surface of a sphere, no start, no end. The universe may be finite but unbounded in time. Imagine time behaving like another spatial dimension in the very early universe. As Hawking put it, asking what came before the Big Bang is like asking what's north of the North Pole. So in this view, the universe doesn't need a shape in the way we imagine, because our brains evolved to think inside space. Not outside of it. So what's the shape of the universe? We don't know. Flat is the best guess for now. But we can't see the entire universe. It could be infinite. Or closed. Or curled like a scroll of cosmic bubble wrap. What we do know is, whatever shape it has, it's stretching, growing, and changing every second. So next time you look up at the stars, remember. You're not just staring into space. You're staring into weirdest geometry ever on the biggest scale imaginable. And somewhere, out beyond the edge of our vision, the true shape of it all might still be waiting to surprise us. Thanks for watching. I'm physicist OD and this was Physics Tales. Please like and subscribe for more Physics Tales, and if you don't think the universe might be a cosmic donut leave a comment below.